In the Shopify community forums, there are a lot of great questions being asked by merchants, but one of the most popular questions is this. Why are my sales so low? I get traffic to my website, but I'm not getting any sales. What's going on? DM Rentals, a Shopify store, was asking those same questions. As a company with 45 years of experience selling construction equipment, DM Rentals has a wealth of products and knowledge, but its team was frustrated. Its Shopify store gets traffic and offers competitive pricing, but the conversion rate remains low. I'm Angie with Lucky Orange, and we're going to use visitor behavior to dig into this conversion question. I'm going to explore the DM Rentals Shopify store to spot possible conversion killing issues for visitors, and then use the dashboard conversion funnels and session recordings to evaluate what we found. Let's head over to the DM Rentals Shopify store to get started. When you have low conversions but plenty of traffic, I start with navigation to see how people get to your products and whether important information like shipping costs is available to visitors. For DM Rentals, there are two ways people can navigate to products. They can access the homepage collections below the hero image or they can use the hamburger menu at the top of the page. As we dive into visitor behavior, we'll look at how this navigation looks on both mobile and desktop and see if that's impacting how people navigate across your store. Lucky Orange can show you what percentage of your traffic is from mobile or desktop to help you prioritize and focus your energies on the improvements that matter the most. Now, I want you to notice this red banner. It directly addresses shipping costs for visitors, but not quite. If someone orders multiple items, they first have to reach out through chat, which isn't available on the page right now, email or phone to get that reduced rate. That's a potential red flag and deterrent for someone who already knows they'll be purchasing multiple quantities or products and will have to make an effort to get the better shipping rate. I also couldn't find a link to your shipping policy anywhere on the homepage. That's going to be a problem. Let's see what visitor behavior tells us now. I'm going to head over to the Lucky Orange dashboard and conversion funnels to take a closer look. The dashboard is like a mission control for your Shopify store. If we look at the devices, we can see that mobile traffic represents about 80% of all of DM Rentals visitors. However, when we look only at those who added a product to their cart, mobile traffic only represents 50%. That shows there's something going on for the mobile experience. Also on the dashboard are conversion funnels. Conversion funnels show you where people leave your Shopify store in the buying process. In this funnel for DM Rentals, it's viewed products, added to cart, and ordered. We can see that most people drop off once they view a product. We're going to click on Added to Cart. This is going to show us session recordings of people who did view a product and added it to their cart, but didn't complete their purchase. Now we're looking at Lucky Orange session recordings. Session recordings act like a DVR for your website, so you can see what the visitor did and experienced. I want you to notice here that DM Rentals is passing through information about how many products these visitors added to their carts. This is a great example of custom user data, and I've included a link in the description below on how to set up in Shopify if you're interested. What stands out to me is that a lot of people here aren't just adding one item to their cart. So most of these interested visitors would have to contact DM Rentals for that reduced free information, but they're not doing that. Let's go ahead and scroll back and click into a recording to see what happens. In this recording, we can see that this person is on a phone. Now, before I play the recording, I want you to see that the hamburger menu, hero image, and logos are all overlapping here. Remember that mobile traffic represents a high percentage of total visitors to the store, but that number decreases dramatically when we look at those who added a product to their cart. This experience could be one of the reasons. 
As a result of this issue, I expect that visitors use the homepage collections to navigate because they have no other option. Let's find out. And we're right. This person is scrolling through the homepage and navigates to the products from the collection list. I would suggest cleaning up the header so that nothing is overlapping and the hamburger menu can actually be utilized. Now, we could watch the rest of this person's interactions during their visit, but we're going to fast forward to the moment they added a product to their cart. This person is interested in the Waco style scaffolding to the point that they click buy now. Watch what happens next. They are completely ready to check out, but they don't click on the checkout button. Instead, look where they click. They click on the shipping policy. This is actually the second time that they went to the shipping page during their visit. While navigation is key to growing conversions, it's important to also make sure that visitors have access to the information they need to make a buying decision, like shipping costs. But that was just one recording. Here's another visitor from desktop this time, and we're going to see if they use the homepage or the hamburger menu. For desktop, the hamburger menu definitely looks a lot better though. So let's go ahead and click play to find out. Interestingly enough, they don't use the hamburger menu. They again use the homepage collections to navigate to their products. I suggest doing some testing to see if the hidden hamburger menu is the best for the Shopify store or if it should be displayed differently. We're again going to skip ahead to the moment that the person added a product to their cart. It looks like the Waco style scaffolding is a very popular product on the DM Rentals website. Now, this person is scrolling and learning more about the product, including hovering over the shipping link momentarily. They add it to their cart and even increase the quantities. They take a little time here deciding if they should add more. Notice that they also hover over the price, which indicates that it was a contributing factor for them to increase the quantities of their cart from four to six. But before they check out, and they are ready to check out, they go to the shipping policy page instead. Again, the shipping policy may be scaring away potential customers. It may be a turnoff to know that they'll pay more upfront for shipping, but will get refunded later. This would be a great time to use live chat. You already ask visitors to contact you through live chat to get a reduced freight when they purchase multiple items. If you aren't going to be available for chat, rethink your shipping policies and strategy to make it easier for visitors to check out, knowing what the cost is ahead of time. However, live chat lets you provide real-time assistance and give quotes to visitors who are interested in those reduced shipping rates. If you are going to be available for chat, don't forget to use auto invites. Auto invites let you set up behavior conditions that trigger a chat invitation when those conditions are met. To access it, go to your chat tab in Lucky Orange and click on auto invites. Setting it up requires a URL like the shipping page or part of a URL like a product name and the details you want to include like spending more than 45 seconds on the page. You'll need to set up a message you want shown to your visitors and you're set. Auto invites will let you help visitors who are confused and answer their shipping questions before they abandon their cards and leave your website. To recap this website analysis of DM Rentals, one, continue to evaluate your navigation. Clean up your hamburger menu, especially for your mobile users, and test out different methods of navigation. See what is more effective for mobile and desktop traffic. Two, Clarify your shipping policy and make it available in your footer. Make it clear how it's estimated and how they can get that better deal. Three, use live chat and auto invites to get visitors the answers they need to make a buying decision. Help those confused visitors by answering their questions before they leave your store. DM Rentals has an incredible Shopify store and it has an exciting future. Using visitor behavior, its team is going to find ways to improve the Shopify store and make updates that drive more sales and make customers happier. To try Lucky Orange on your Shopify store, find us in the Shopify app store and start your free seven day trial. No credit card required.
To watch more website analysis videos like this one, be sure to click on the subscribe button below.